People take prescription medicines for many reasons. Many may use them to ease pain, anxiety, or attention deficit disorder. Many use these possibly addictive medicines correctly. But some people end up abusing them. Prescription medicine abuse or misuse is when the medicine is used in a way other than prescribed by a healthcare provider. The goal of using the medicine becomes about the experience or feeling that it causes. In some cases, people may abuse medicines that aren't prescribed to them. They may get them from friends or family. Or they may buy them illegally from someone else. The number of teens and young adults ages 12 to 25 who abuse prescription painkillers has more than tripled since the mid-1990s. Here is a Q&A about prescription medicine addiction. It can help you or a loved one seek help, if needed. First question. What medicines are the most likely to be abused? Here are three kinds of medicines most likely to be abused without a prescription. 1. Opioids. These are for pain relief. They include morphine, cotton, and medicines that contain hydrocodone, oxycodone, and fentanyl. 2. Tranquilizers. These are for anxiety and sleep disorders. A few examples are alprazolam and diazepam. 3. Stimulants. These are for narcolepsy and attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder. Examples of stimulants include amphetamine, dextramphetamine, and methylphenidate. Second question. What are the symptoms of prescription addiction? Signs of prescription drugs addiction includes loss of control over taking a medicine, hiding pills, obsessively counting pills, finding ways to get more of a medicine by making unneeded visits to the emergency room or a healthcare provider's office, taking a medicine more often than directed, taking higher doses than instructed because the previous dose did not provide the same effect, taking a medicine with other medicines or alcohol, crushing and snorting a pill instead of swallowing it, stealing prescription medicines from family or friends. Third question. Who is at risk for prescription medicine addiction? The fact is, both men and women abuse prescription medicines at about the same rate. But women are twice as likely to become addicted as men. People at the highest risk for addiction are those who have other addictions or who have abused prescription medicines in the past. Fourth question. What steps can be taken to prevent addiction? It's simple. Take medicines only as prescribed. Get possibly addictive medicines only from a single licensed healthcare provider at one pharmacy. If you have opioids, tranquilizers, or stimulant prescription medicines, keep them in a safe place. Lock them up to keep them secure. Don't share them with anyone else. The prescription is for you and you alone. If you no longer need a prescription, dispose the pills correctly. Many local law enforcement agencies will help with this. Many communities in the United States participate in National Take Back Day on October 27th of each year. The goal of this event is to reduce the amount of unused and possibly addictive medicines in the community. Like we always say, do not indulge in unprescribed self-medication. Good things can be harmful. We love you, so love yourself by staying active and healthy. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe for more amazing and informative videos. Peace and love.